Give me matter, and I will construct a world out of it. There can be no doubt that all of our knowledge begins with experience. Notion without intuition is empty. Intuition without notion is simply blind. All our knowledge begins with the senses, proceeds then to the understanding, and ends with reason. There is nothing higher than reason. We are not rich by what we possess, but by what we can do without. Look closely. The beautiful may be small. Act in such a way that you treat humanity, whether in your own person or in the person of any other, never merely as a means to an end, but always at the same time as an end. Science is organized knowledge. Wisdom is organized life. The busier we are, the more acutely we feel that we live. The more conscious we are of life. What might be said of things in themselves, separated from all relationship to our senses, remains for us absolutely unknown. The death of dogma is the birth of morality. How then is perfection to be sought? Wherein lies our hope? in education, and in nothing else. Two things fill the mind with ever new and increasing admiration and reverence the more often and more steadily one reflects on them. The starry heavens above me, and the moral law within me. Better the whole people perish than that injustice be done. The idea of the Supreme Being is nothing but a regulative principle of reason which directs us to look upon all connection in the world as if it originated from an all-sufficient and necessary cause. Dignity is a value that creates irreplaceability. The reading of all good books is like a conversation with the finest minds of past centuries. Settle for sure and universally what conduct will promote the happiness of a rational being. Simply to acquiesce in skepticism can never suffice to overcome the restlessness of reason. The greatest human quest is to know what one must do in order to become a human being. Remember, great minds think for themselves. But although our knowledge begins with experience, it does not follow that it arises from experience. Honesty is better than any policy. One is not rich by what one owns, but more by what one is able to do with dignity. One who makes himself a worm cannot complain afterwards if people step on him. Life is the faculty of spontaneous activity, the awareness that we have powers. Always recognize that human individuals are ends, and do not use them as means to your end. Live your life as though your every act were to become a universal law. Do the right thing, because it is right. The only thing that is good without qualification is goodwill. It is never too late to become reasonable and wise.
And remember, one is not rich by what one owns, but more by what one is able to do with dignity. The only thing permanent is change. Man must be disciplined, for he is by nature raw and wild. Out of the crooked timber of humanity, no straight thing was ever made. An action to have moral worth must be done from duty. Freedom is the alone, unoriginated birthright of man and belongs to him by force of his humanity. If you want rules for happiness, have something to do, someone to love, and something to hope for. For peace to reign on earth, humans must evolve into new beings who have learned to see the whole first. Nothing is divine but what is agreeable to reason. Science is organized knowledge, wisdom is organized life. In law, a man is guilty when he violates the rights of others. In ethics, he is guilty if he only thinks of doing so. We can judge the heart of a man by his treatment of animals. Experience without theory is blind, but theory without experience is mere intellectual play. Act that your principle of action might safely be made a law for the whole world. Thoughts without content are empty. Illusions without concepts are blind. An action is essentially good if the motive of the agent be good, regardless of the consequences. Remember, always treat people as ends in themselves, never as a means to an end. Whereas the beautiful is limited, the sublime is limitless, so that the mind in the presence of the sublime, attempting to imagine what it cannot, has pain in the failure, but pleasure in contemplating the immensity of the attempt. I had to deny knowledge in order to make room for faith. In law, a man is guilty when he violates the rights of others. In ethics, he is guilty if he only thinks of doing so. Have courage to use your own reason. That is the motto of enlightenment. Out of timber so crooked as that from which man is made, nothing entirely straight can be carved. What can I know? What ought I to do? What can I hope? How then is perfection to be sought? Wherein lies our hope? In education and in nothing else. To be is to do. What is your favorite quote? Please let us know in the comments below.